Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Dampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a swinging C-fold card. Um, for my sample, I used Verve's Glad Tiding stamp set, bull bunny paper, and one of the nested heart shapes from Spellbinders. For my, I created my swing C-fold swing si sample. Um, out of four and a quarter by eight and a half piece of cardstock, but you can use any size or can turn any card size into a Z fold card. All you do is score it at half of the card size, which for me is four and a quarter, and then a quarter of a card size for me it's two and an eighth. For scoring, I'm using the new score pal, but you can use any score tool. Then you fold it, your card base in half and then fold your quarter piece back. Now it's time already to decorate. Um, if you decide to use pattern paper decorate, I decorate before I add the swinging part. And I cut it a little bit smaller. I cut it a sixteenth inch smaller than my card base so it doesn't stick over because of the folds. First I add pattern paper to the part that does not have a, a fold on it. I'll just adhere that with score tape. You can use any adhesive. And now I'm going to adhere one right here. And because we're going to cut a shape on the outside of it, I'm going to add more adhesive than just on the sides. Otherwise, it will. once you cut your shape in it, it will open up. The paper will not stick to it. So now I just have to find it. So first I add adhesive like I did on the other side. And then I just add, add some more liquid adhesive on this side. Oops, and there's some nastiness on my glue. That way I make sure it will stick. Now you can add. Uh, now I want to just score it again at two and an eighth to make sure it will fold easy and pre-fold out. Now you can add um, paper on the back as well, which I will do. But because it's harder to cut through three layers than through two, I will cut my shape in now and then cut it again when I add the third piece. It makes it easier. So now you. Uh, lay your shape down where you want it, uh, halfway on one side, half on the other, and you trace it on the outer side of your, your outer panel of the card. And then you'll have to cut that, and I'm using uh, ha a hobby knife for that, exacto knife. You can see if you have three, another another uh, piece of paper underneath, it would make it even harder. And I only cut part of it with the X-Acto knife. And then use my scissor to go in here and cut the rest. It makes it easier. At least for me. And that is harder too if you have three layers. So 
This will be the swing part of your card. And I like to cut on the outer edge of your lines and then just erase them uh, because once you layer another piece on there, see? And now we're gonna add another piece of pattern paper on this side, just flip it over, find your adhesive. of my cut. So it'll stick. Stay put, I should say. Come on. Okay. I'm going to tear that, and then we have to add the cuts to this last piece. We just go through it again. But this is a lot easier than cutting through all three sides that I've shown in the photo tutorial on split cost. Again you can score it at two and, a, two and an eighth to make sure it goes through that paper as well. Okay. You can just use your cut lines that you have already made. if you hadn't erased all the lines already. There we go. Once you have a spot, you can just use your scissors again. And then your swing part is done, and then it's time to decorate. And if you want to, you could leave it like this, or you can layer it on another layer, or even on a whole card, to make this only the card front. Just have to get the top cut. There we go. So now we have this part and I'll, I already prepared my card front piece and all you do is take your die again if you want to have a piece underneath that is the same shape that you cut and lay it on a piece of cardstock, trace it and cut it out. And I had already done that. And cut a shape with the same die to make it a little bit smaller. Sponged it, decorated it, and that will be my card front, uh, my centerpiece. You just slide it in here, and that's why you want to cut on the outer edges of your lines to make sure when you fold it over, it works fine. Then I added another piece in the center and a smaller piece here so you can write it. So if you only use a uh, a quarter sheet, um, just a square, not a card front, you have a place to write. So then you just decorate it. I added some ribbon, another sentiment, and some bling, and your seafold card is done. Uh, your swinging seafold card. A regular seafold card you wouldn't cut, you would just adhere the image right here and then flip it and it wouldn't swing like it, this one does. For my sample I added a little pin so it will hold the heart down if you don't want it to swing. And you 
then they can just push the pin down to open. I hope you try it out. It's fun. It's a little bit different. See you next time.